Hey guys, Kyle here, and today we'll be doing the construction to find the centroid of a triangle. Now, the centroid is simply the point at which all the medians of the triangle intersect. So, in order to find the medians, we'll have to find the midpoints of each of the segments of the triangle. And for that, of course, we're going to need more perpendicular bisectors. So, we'll perpendicularly bisect this top side first. I'll probably have to go back and make some of these arcs longer just so we make sure that they intersect. There we, go. we draw in the perpendicular bisector here. And we find that our median, or sorry, the midpoint for this segment here, we'll call this AB and this last point C. The midpoint for length, uh, sorry, segment AB is going to be there. And then we'll do the same thing for the segment AC. This arc is a bit long, but it works. There's our perpendicular bisector for AC and our midpoint for that segment is going to be right, and our midpoint for the segment AC, excuse me, is going to be right there. And now, just like with all of the other constructions um, inscribing the circle and circumscribing the circle, you only technically need two of the medians, um, but we'll show that the third one should intersect in roughly the same spot as well. So we'll perpendicularly bisect BC as well. And just be careful with your arcs as they can, can get a little bit messy and just keep track of which arc goes to which point. So we have the perpendicular bisector of BC here. And our midpoint for BC right there. Now if we connect all of the midpoints to the opposite vertices, Not the best um, perfectly straight line that goes through the vertice or vertex, but close enough. Now I can see here I'll highlight the medians in orange just so you can see them right there and right there. You can see that they um, intersect at the same point, and there is our centroid for this triangle. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.